Ouch. Hashtag woke up like this. Wake up, sleepyheads! Last night was fun, but today comes... The sun? Well, I was gonna say cleaning, but that rhymes better. If we work together, we'll get this done in no time. Anything left for me? I had a mop, but I need that to keep Slick occupied. Bonjour, mon chéri. Would you give moi the pleasure of dinner? <laughs> you can have the dustpan. Ugh, come on, Apple. This is such a boring way to clean. Let's have some fun with it. How can you even make cleaning fun? Trash hockey. <laughs> Trash hockey isn't the best idea. <laughs> surprise, Jesse Cake! Guys, you're meant to say surprise. You're like a day late. And it wasn't even a surprise party to begin with, pretty pressy. Well, at least I have your present, Jesse Cake. I'll just pop it over here. No! no, no, no. no. Full disclosure, I came here in more of a party mood rather than a cleaning mood. So I might take off. Okay, bye guys, good luck! Ugh, I have zero motivation to clean right now. It's so hot. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it! I think she's got it. If we want to get in the mood to move, we need a catchy song to clean to. That's a great idea! Does anybody have any catchy music, though? Lovely butter boo! Uh, thanks for that, Max. But I was thinking of something a little more upbeat. Dear Audio Diary, I think my biggest fear is somebody listening to my diary entries. I really hope that never happens to me. Uh, minor technical glitch! I, uh, I mean this! This is the right track! Sparkles and rainbow glitter everywhere Colorful streamers on the floor All of the party fever's gone right out the door But wait, I know there's so much more We could be Spinning purple cotton candy, edible confetti in the air. Flying on a magic carpet, fill it in with magic markers. Say the word and we'll go anywhere. The grandest mall, the greatest place. A never ending shop is free in outer space. That old mess can wait, there's so much more on our plate. Let's go paint the town rainbow. instead. That's oh, yeah. Like my totally idea. Idea. Uh, I'm so thirsty from this heat. I think we drank all the soda last night. Is that a barrage? 
It's so hot. I think it's a barrage. Hi, I'm Apple Blossom, proud candidate in the first election for mayor of Shumville. As an apple, I understand the need for wholesome core values. Cut. Do we really need a flag in every shot? Of course we do. This is an election campaign video. Let's finish this later. Susie invited us to the park. We don't have time for the park. Hey, are you guys ready for the park? Sure am. No, no, no. Apple doesn't have time for the park. We have a very busy campaign schedule today. Come on, Apple. You don't really need to do any campaigning. Yeah, you're totes gonna win. Besides, is anyone else even like running for mayor? Come on, dummy me, quit doing that! Oh no! Somebody help! Thanks, Kooky. You're amazing! So, uh, you want me to put this anywhere? <laughs> nah, nobody, no else nobody else wants nobody else Apple on her. So, Apple, have you picked out your theme song yet? My theme song? Everybody needs a theme song if they want to make a great entrance. Oh, MG, we should totally head over to the music store and create something cool for Apple. Fine, I'll add it to the schedule. Wait, we need to upload Apple's campaign profile pic first. Hashtag Apple Blossom, hashtag Bear, hashtag Bear Blossom, hashtag Shopville Selfies, hashtag Shopkin Selfies, hashtag Smallmart Selfies, hashtag Miss Sleepy Lips, Miss Shopville 2016, hashtag Inspo, hashtag Shopkinspo. You done? No, I just stopped because you were staring at me. Hashtag interrupted, hashtag back to hashtagging, hashtag hashtag. Maybe I don't even need a theme song for my campaign. Ugh, come on, Apple. We just need to create something really awesome. See? Like that. Ladies and gentlemen, she's the shopkin who's been around the world. She has looks around her opponents. She's been campaigning up and down. The streets of Shopville spinning for your support. Please give a warm welcome to the future mayor of Shopville, Miss Yolanda. Look how many flags she has. She's got my vote. I told you about the flags. It's the campaign event you've all been waiting for. and Yolanda Yo-Yo. Remember, if you get nervous, just smile. Being a leader is 90% confidence and 25% skill. I'm not confident in that math. That's the spirit. Now let's see that smile. I feel more nervous just looking at you. Okay, Yolanda just rolled in. Try to act natural. Hi, I'm Blossom Apple. I, I mean, hey, Apple Blossom. It is such a pleasure to finally meet you. Oh, uh, you too, Yolanda. Hey, can we talk for a moment? Sure. If I told you a secret, would you tell anyone? No, I would never share it with anyone. Okay, I'm like super nervous about the debate today. I'm super nervous too. Don't worry, the debate will be all in good fun. I think we're on. Good luck. Good luck. much. You are our hero. Okay, Shopkins, without further ado, let's give our candidates a chance to tell us why we should vote for them to become the first mayor of Shopkins. Uh, hello, I'm Apple.
Taco Blast. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Am I hurting you? <laughs> Just kidding. Apple, tell us why we should vote for you. Well, I consider myself to be an upstanding citizen of Shopville. I promise to lead with honesty and integrity. Yolanda, why should we take yes for the yo-yo come election day? Well, I really understand the value of sharing with your fellow Shopkins, unlike Apple Blossom. That's right, Apple refuses to share her toy. When I asked her if I could play with her remote-controlled speedboat, this is what she said to me. No, I would never share it with anyone. Gulls, but I don't even own a toy speedboat. Okay, okay. Uh, I think that's enough for today. Let's thank our two candidates for coming. I can't believe she would make that up about me. Don't worry about it. We know that's not the type of Shopkin you are. Who's that? So, Fortune Stella, will I win the election or do I need to be even sneakier? Ask again later. Will you even answer my question later? Ask again later. Uh, who cares? I'm gonna win. And when I'm mayor, I'm gonna pass this bill requiring everybody to dress and act just like me. I don't care what you are. A shoe, lipstick, an apple. I'm gonna turn everybody in Shopville into yo-yos. <laughs> Did you hear that? I don't want to be a yo-yo. I get motion sickness. We need to get that bill as evidence so nobody votes for Yolanda. wasn't my only copy. Better luck next time. <laughs> and then Yolanda said she'll turn us all into yo-yos. Oh, no. We need to stop her. Hey, maybe it won't be so bad. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> it won't be so bad. It'll be horrible! Uh, Apple, I think you should come outside. That's it! This needs to stop now! Follow me! My, oh my! Fixing your opponent's billboards. Such an honorable act. Every candidate has the right to an honest and fair campaign. So, uh, did you want me to put these somewhere? Yolanda, uh, what do you want? You're not playing fair. I challenge you to a shop quiz right here, right now. You're on. Shopkins of Shopville. It looks like we have a shop quiz on our hands. You know the stakes, one incorrect answer, and you're out of here. Let's get to it. Apple, what year was the small market? 2013. Correct. Yolanda, who designed the Toasty Pop inspired fashion line? Shady Diva. Correct. Apple, who came second in last year's shopping cart rally? Cheeky Chocolate. Correct. Yolanda, what is in aisle 25 of the small mall? Ask again later. Ask again later. I mean, do. Trick question, there is no aisle 25. Apple Blossom wins. <laughs> okay, Shopkins, you know your candidates. Now, it's time for all of you to cast your vote for the first mayor of Shopville. Oh, yeah, this is, like, super suspenseful. Shopkins of Shopville! The moment you've all been waiting for is finally here. Drum roll, please. And the first mayor of Shopville is... It's a tie between Apple Blossom, Yolanda Yo-Yo, and Cookie Cookie. So what do we do now? In the event of a tie, candidates have the option to pass their votes to another candidate. I hereby pass my votes to Apple Blossom. Apple Blossom is the winner! I'm so sorry you didn't win, Kooky. You're such an upstanding candidate, Kooky. I mean, what you did for Apple. Huh? What do you mean? Cookie went around and painted over all those awful billboards for you. Cookie, you did that for me? Wait! This entire campaign, Yolanda and I have been too busy thinking about ourselves. 
while Kuki has been helping everyone out. She deserves to be mayor. I hereby pass my votes to Kuki! Well, you heard her, Shop Dance. The first ever mayor of Shopville is Kuki Kuki! No, no! I should win! <laughs> oh, there's no need to cry, Yolanda. I just feel so terrible. The only reason I was going to make everybody dress like me is so I didn't feel so self-conscious about myself. Every Shopkin is different, but that's what makes us so special. I guess you're right. So, Mayor Cookie, what is your first order of business? The expansion of Shopville. Congratulations again, Cookie. I can't wait to see the new places in Shopville. Perhaps you could build another clothing store? What are you going to build here, Cookie? Well, we need something to spice this area up. Maybe some sort of club. Check you later. That would be like the best vacay ever. I know, right? Hey, guys, what are you talking about? Where we'd like to go for our ultimate vacation. Ooh. So, where did you guys choose? Well, Susie and I would love to go to a tropical beach. Isn't this just like the best vacay ever? Totally. Yeah, that would be the best vacay ever. Until Susie melts from the heat. What? I'll get it! And Apple gets eaten by a giant sea creature. Whoa! <laughs> Uh, maybe that, like, isn't the best place for a vacation. Agreed! What about you, Strawberry? Well, I was thinking the snow would be lovely. Oh my gosh, this is so magical! It is magical until an avalanche comes crashing down. No, 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 no! Phew! Oh. And you get stepped on by an abominable snowman. Guys, I don't think I want to go to the snow. In fact, I don't want to ever leave Shopville. Huh. Like those things would ever really happen. Bye, guys. <laughs> ah! What's wrong, Cheeky? No, 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 nothing. Maybe we should just stay in Shopville for now. <laughs> Check you later. Greetings, Shopkins, and welcome to the nail-biting finale of The Spatula. Our finalists are Lippy Lips, Susie Sunday, and Kooky Cookie. That's right, folks, it's all come down to this moment. Who will Slick Breadstick choose for the final rose? Let's see how our contestants went this week. Oh my, I've never seen anything so beautiful in my life! Nor have I. Come to me, Bella. We must be together. Look Beautiful. Sacre bleu! What? Did you see that dress? Tonight will be the most romantic, electrifying evening you have ever had in your life. Eh, uh, if Susie ever shows up. Oh, I like totes forgot about the date. Besides, I'm like only here because I want a rose. Like, they're so pretty. Wait, are you like recording this? Mon chéri, let me use my strength to win a prize for you. Hmm, must be a prank. Look at Ma. Come, Cookie, let's not waste our time on this broken machine. Cookie ball! Cookie, my darling, please accept this rose. You are the winner. <laughs> well, that's all for this season of The Spatula. Thanks for watching. Check you later. Hiya! 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 Hey, Cheeky! What are you doing with all these ice cream sticks? Are they for doing the limbo under? Nope, something even cooler. I'm gonna karate chop them. Okay, that is cooler. Wow! Um, wouldn't it be better to start at one and work your way up from there? I am a karate expert. You are? Watch and learn. Hi ha uh, Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Fine. Well, it looked pretty painful. Hi-ya! That looked painful too. No pain, because I'm a karate expert. Hi-ya! Ow! 
All good. Hiya. Uh, ouchie. Hiya. Oh. And that one so had to hurt. Hiya. Ow, oh, ow, oh, ouchie. Okay, I admit, I am not a karate expert. Because I'm a karate master. Hiya. Wow, she really did it. Wow. Hiya. 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 Ow. I am never doing that again. Check you later. Shock hands, shock hands. This Shopkins episode with a special report. Shopville is in chaos after a major traffic accident. We go to Cheeky Chocolate with more. Chaos indeed, Apple Blossom. Some presumed maniacs spilt over a defenseless shopping basket. It is still unknown who or what caused this tragedy, but we'll be keeping our eyes open for this shop villain. And now, live from the freezer, it's Cookie Cookie with the weather. Hold. Oh. Thank you, Kooky, for that descriptive report. We now go live to Strawberry Kiss, who is about to report something amazing. What? Me? Um, amazing? Yep. But I didn't prepare anything. Our audience is waiting. <laughs> amazing! Strawberry Kiss can cry strawberry jam tears. Who knew? And now, a word from our sponsors. New Cheesy Cheese, now available in pink. Not actually available in pink. <laughs> Check, Check you later. You later. Don't you just love today? It just fills your heart with love. Yup, nothing can ruin the mood I'm in. Lippy, what is oh that? Lippy, you're as beautiful as fresh toast, with lips as red as um, beetroots. <laughs> Will you be mine? Say you'll be mine. No way. Cookie or cookie. <sniffs> Sacre bleu. Mm. Could I be losing my charms? Oopsie. Ah! Bonjour, mon chéri. Would you give moi the pleasure of dinner? I'm not hungry. But Beller, I can feel it in the air. All of the signs are pointing to you and I together. You feel it too, eh? No, this needs to stop. I agree. He doesn't look like he'll give up anytime soon. Uh, what if we ask him out? What? No, she's right and I've got just the plan. So, are you going to tell us this plan? Oh, right. Well, you go over this way and then we go around. Where are all of my beauties gone? My little toasty snookums. Won't you sing for me again? Why, well, hello there, my sweetie. I knew you could not resist these charms. No, me. Mwah, mwah, ah. mwah. Doughy bear. He's mine. He's mine. No, he's, he's mine. mine. He's mine. No, mine. mine. Lenny, he's he's mine. Down. Oh, no. I must flee before their love for moi destroys us all. Au revoir, my love. <laughs> Check you later. <laughs> Welcome, shoppers, to another day of adventure and discovery as we bring you Shopkins of the Wild. We start our journey with Spilt Milk, otherwise known as Cleanus Uppers in Isle Forest, who's refining her native camouflage skills. This carton of milk's ability in concealment is second to none. Here, we encounter the ferociously fiery Toasty Pop, otherwise known as Toastus Burntolotus, hunting in her natural habitat. Watch as she patiently stalks her prey. Her stealth-like movement renders her victims completely unaware that... <gasps> Sacre bleu! Burnt bagels and muffins! Ah, clearly this toaster has a lot to learn. And finally, after months of waiting, the baby-faced shoppist dummy me diaper wiper is about to take her first steps. How magical and beautiful this delicate young... Hello? Oh, yes, yes, no problem. I can come around just after four. Fantastic, I'll see you then. Whoops, got to go. Well, it looks like we might be waiting some time for this Shopkin to fully bloom. <laughs> That's all we have time for this evening. Check you later.
have you guys heard about the mysterious Shopkin? The what? The mysterious Shopkin? He appears from the shadows helping Shopkins in need. Like a superhero? Kind of sounds far-fetched to me. What do you think, Kooky? No, it's true. I saw him myself. I was playing with Mimi when... Ah! And when I opened my eyes, I saw the caped shadow flying off in the distance. Burnt bagels and breadcrumbs. That was close. He saved you, too? I didn't know you had seen the mysterious Shopkin, too. What happened? Well, I was cleaning when this dust cloud came out of nowhere. to thank them. Well, you never know. Maybe it's a shoppy we know. That's true. Got any ideas on who it could be, Cookie? Where did she disappear to? Maybe she's the mysterious Shopkin. <laughs> <laughs> no, no way. way. Hmm. Cheeky, what are you doing? Thinking. Thinking about what? The doors. The, the doors? doors? Yep. What about it? Well, what do we really know about them? They open and close? They're blue? No, I already know that. <laughs> I mean, what's past them? Oh, yeah. I guess we've never left before. Toasty said once she got squished in them, but I don't think that counts. Slick once told me that beyond the doors lies the land of Picnic, A land where mysterious monsters named ants rule and eat unsuspecting shuttles. <gasps> How horrifying! Slick's just trying to scare you. There is no such thing as ant monsters. <laughs> I kind of figured. It's a fun story, though. You and I have very different definitions of fun. <laughs> I'm still no closer to finding out what's out there. Why don't you just look? What are you saying? I think she's saying you should look. Oh, ha ha. I know that, but it's not like I can just walk up to the doors, wait for them to open, then walk outside. It's just not that easy. Kooky makes it look pretty easy. What? Oh no! Kooky! I'm sure she's fine. But what about the ant monster? Oh no! Come on, guys, that's just a story. Besides, if it were true, what's to stop the ants from walking through those doors right now and eating us all up? Ah, the ants! Uh, hello? Check you later. Have you got it? Are you recording? Oh. Oh my gosh, Shoppies! I have so much to tell you. So much has happened in the last few days. We met the sweetest new Shopkin named Susie Sunday. Oh, um, hi. <laughs> and we have moved to the most foodtastic place ever. Shopville! We just love it here. Some of us more than others. Who knew there was such a great big world outside the small mart? But I have to tell you, leaving wasn't the easiest decision for everyone. Come on, Cheeky. I promise nothing outside will hurt you. Um, if you say so. Oh, <laughs> Ow. Inside, however, is a different story. <laughs> She's okay now. There's so much here to see and do and learn. Like, what's that? Ah, you mean the stationery store? Stat Ion Airy? Huh, sounds fascinating. Wow! Well, that's all for now. I can't wait to share our new adventures with you. Check, Check you, you later. later. Bye. What a beautiful morning it is for fashion! Morning, everyone! This wasn't the adventurous camping trip I had in mind. Yeah. Why are we here, Lippy? Shady Diva is back in Shopville unveiling her new hat collection. Aren't you excited? <sighs> Guys, can you at least try to not embarrass me this time? Hello, <sighs> darlings. Dusty, you beautiful creature. Is that you? Why on earth are you waiting in this line? Come, my darling. Uh, what about my friends? Oh, it is far too bright outside to be judging your friends. Come. All of you, quickly. I am so glad you are here, darling. You are the inspiration behind my latest creation. Don't I look fab? Ah! Toast! Ah! They're everywhere! Uh, Toasty, that's just your reflection. Oh, so, my darling, will you change your mind and travel the world with me? 
You'll get all the free clothes you could ever want. No thanks. I'm already wearing the real thing. What about Lippy dressed as me? Still, ah! maybe not. Very well, darlings, I'm off again. <gasps> Never have I laid eyes on such beauty. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> Check you later. On the twelfth day of Christmas, the Shopkins gave to me twelve hours of shopping. Eleven checkouts checking. Ten stockings filling. Nine baubles twinkling. <laughs> Eight Shopkins milking. Seven shelves of candy. Six racks of clothing. Five broken leaves. Four shopping carts. Three French breads. Two sliding doors. Season's greetings from the Shopkins. Okay, strawberry. Let's try this again. You ready? Ready. Fold the paper in half, staple four times, fold this bit here, add some butter, fold that bit there, turn upside down, fold the wings down, bend the wingtips back up, do the hokey pokey, and voila! The perfect paper plane. Easy. Now, your turn. Fold the paper in half, staple two times, fold these bits there, dip it in butter, turn it around, then the bendy bits back, add some hokey pokey, and voila! Uh, at least it has wings. Coming through, guys! Get ready for takeoff! I'll never get my plane in the sky! Woo! Ah, Apple, what do I do?
Shiggy! We are in charge of the decorations for the opening ceremony and you are not helping! Relax, I'm just practicing my winning face. Your winning face? Yeah, you know, when everything is in slow-mo and you barrel through the finish line and you're all like... Like this! Can you stop doing that? You want to be a winner, you need to visualize winning. And as team captain for the Small Mart, I want all of you to do the same. Now, drink this! Oh, what on earth is that? It's a cheeky charge-up made from milk, spinach, kale, and the tears of all my competitors that I've beaten over the years. You collect tears? That's like kind of weird. Welcome to the first official Shopville Games. We have shoplets competing from all across Shopville, including the toy store, sports store, music store, tech town, fashion boutique, and the small mart. Please stand for the Shopkins national anthem sung by our very special guest, Miss Cupcake Queen. <clears throat> Shopkins, Shopkins, da 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 da. No, Shopkins. Breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. I have chills. Mainly because it's slightly cold today, but also because of that performance. Which leads us to our first official event: Yolanda Yo-Yo diving first for Team Toy Store. What an incredible display of shop lattices. A disappointing dive from Max Saxophone. And saves it by finding the key the judge lost in the water fountain three months ago. Now, for Team Small Mark. Show us proud, Lippy. Hold on. I'm going to get wet if I jump in there. No, thank you. Too cold. Lippy Lips fails to jump. Now for Team Sport. Roll the rollerblades simultaneously taking out the gold medal in both the water fountain diving and ice skating event. What a win! I can't believe you did that to the team, Lippy. You're benched! <gasps> So what does that mean exactly? Is there an actual bench that I have to sit on? Oh, yeah, it's just that one over there. You know, it's actually quite comfortable. But I'm still not happy about this! Ninety-nine, one hundred! Great warm-up set, everybody! Only a thousand more to go! Ugh. Hey, Lippy! I'm really sorry about benching you yesterday. No hard feelings? Of course. You had to do what you had to do. It's all water under the bridge. All right, Shopkins. Time for day two of the Shopville Games, hosted by the Fashion Boutique. Are you serious, Lippy? You're switching teams? Hey, you benched me. Why would Shady even pick you? I thought she'd ask Toasty. I'll have you know that she picked me straight away. Oh, please, Miss Diva, I need to find a new team. Pick me, pick me! Uh, what about you over there, the tall one? That's a tree! Ugh, fine. Come, quickly. Yes! There may have been some minor convincing required. Fine, go! We don't need you anyway. Calling all shop leads competing in today's event, the 100-meter catwalk. Uh -oh. whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not a model, Cheeky. I don't know what I'm doing. Just copy whatever Lippy does. Good luck. You're going to need it. Good luck. You're going to need it. Don't copy everything she does. On your marks, get set. And they're off, Lynn Spring with an early lead as they approach the first fashion interval. Oh no, an early upset as Lynn falls out of the race. Our remaining shop leads fast approaching the next interval. Sadie and Connie in a tangle. It's down to Lippy and Toasty as we approach the final leg. Lippy takes one, Sorry, Cheeky, I tried.
tried my hardest. Oh, I can't wait to take these off. That's okay, Toasty. Why don't you take a seat over here? Thanks, Cheeky. Hey, you benched me. It's for the good of the team, Toasty. It's really starting to heat up here at the games, folks. The sports store leads the pack, followed by the fashion boutique, tech store, music store, and the small mark currently in last place. Wow, I would not like to be their team captain right now. <laughs> my betrayal face for when I run into Lippy. You know she's right over there. Hey, Lippy! Uh, yoo -hoo. Hey, no fraternizing with the competition. Come on, Cheeky. All this competitive talk is driving us apart. We're not even performing well because we're not working as a team. You're right. We've been losing because I've been too focused on you guys performing well rather than my own performance. Pretty sure that's not what I meant. If this team really wants a fighting chance at winning, then I have to step up and compete in all of the events by myself. That's the exact opposite of what I meant. Pull! Cheeky Chocolate takes home the gold for Team Small Mark! <sighs> Soccer. <laughs> Soccer? This is too easy. I'm totally going to beat you. Connie Console wins with a devastating 100 to nil victory in the soccer video game category. Now, for the long events. First off, the long jump. Long distance running. And finally, the long distance phone call. Oh, hey, Cheeky. I'm actually right here. Mushy, mushy. Lippy Lips wins for Team Fashion Boutique! The third day of the Shopville Games has come to a close. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. It's a dead heat between the Small Mart, Sports Store, and Fashion Boutique. This is tense, folks. It all comes down to the last event of the Games, the Shopville Relay. Who will win? No, honestly, that's not a rhetorical question. I literally have no idea. Who do you think's gonna win? Anybody? Hello? Shopkins, it's time for the Shopkins Relay. I can't believe I have to watch the relay from the stands. The following stores have chosen to combine their members. The Toy and Sports Store. The Fashion Boutique, Music Store, and Tech Tower. And competing for Team Small Mart is... It's just Cheeky Chocolate. Okay, then. Let's get this relay underway! On your marks. Get set. I'm so sorry. Nothing is more important than doing this relay together. That means the whole team. What a shake-up, folks. Apple, Toasty, and Lippy join Cheeky to form Team Small Mart, which leaves our other team one runner short. Microphone steps in to compete. Our shop leads try to focus on the race ahead. It's... On your marks, get set. And we're off! Lynn 
with an early lead followed by Apple. Mike, the phone, slipping to last place with a very poor start. Mike happily hands over the baton to Connie. Connie makes a move, closing in on Lola and Lippy. Sadie takes the lead as we approach the final baton exchange. It's neck and neck as Yolanda, Cheeky, and Max Sacks approach the final stretch. It's a tie between all three teams. <gasps> what an amazing end to the games. Check you later. Dressing up as Rudolph this year, Cheeky? No, I fell face first into a bowl of cherries. You mean my cherries? I needed those, Cheeky. I know we need to move as quick as we can, but try to be careful, guys. How's the snow going, Susie? OMG, it's a winter wonderland in here. This snow is, like, super swirly, though. That's whipped cream, Susie. So that means I've served my pie with a side of canned snow. How classy. We need help, Apple. We've got so much food to prepare before Christmas Day, not to mention everything else that needs to be done. Hey, gang, what's all the fuss? Hey, Fleur, it's the Christmas rush. Guys, I think I let this sit too long and now it's turned to mush. Sorry, Fleur, we're a little stressed. I'll say you've made a mess. From the stuffing to the pudding, the list just never ends. There is no need to stress when you've tried to do your best. All you need is good old-fashioned help from your friends. We'll cook a Christmas feast filled with all sorts of treats. A really yum selection of savories. And sweets. What's that? It's really tasty. It's custard baked in pastry. Mm, you guys have got to taste this gravy. Stir it till it thickens. While we help you hang the ribbon. I don't know what I'm doing! Just follow what is written. I'll take care of the chopping. While we hang up all the stacking. Just be careful in the kitchen, cause the sink is out of clogging. Once we finish baking. We'll help with decorating. I spilled sauce on me. Don't forget to wear your apron. We'll be done in time for dancer. Dasher, fix and prancer. Uh, who like ate the food we left for Santa? Sorry, I feel awful. As long as you're remorseful. All this food makes me hungry. <gasps> nope, nope, that's a bauble. We finished all the cooking. From the stuffing to the pudding. Now it's time to hang the star. Just, Just be, be careful, careful on, on your footing. footing. We've done our shopping spree. Wrap the gifts under the tree. Now we can finally relax. But you forgot about me. Make sure we have plenty of chips for everyone, Buncho. This New Year's Eve party is going to be awesome. Plus, we're going to stay awake for the first time until midnight. Midnight? Oh, that means I'll only get... 14 hours of beauty sleep. I'll start to look like all of you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. Eight hours. <sighs> I'm like already kind of tired just thinking about that. Don't yawn, because if you yawn, I'll yawn. Uh, uh oh. Stay strong, Cheeky. You're about to set off a chain reaction of yawning. The fate of this evening lies in your mouth. for the party tonight. I've written up a list of tasks for everyone to complete. What are you organizing, Apple? That! Now we can have a big New Year's Eve countdown. Who wants to see a 30-foot minute hand? Oh, yes, that's I awesome. Do. That is Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. That'd be so cool. So, like, does time go slower because the clock is so bad? Still the same speed, Susie. Since you ruined Christmas for me, I'm gonna ruin New Year's for you. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <sighs> 
party. Mm, apple. Hang in there, Susie. Not too long to go now. Ah! Happy New Year! Year. Ah! Why are you all screaming? That's what you asked for, silly. I have to say, Apple, I'm not a fan of all this screaming. Makes me feel like a common garden weed. Spaghetti in the hole! Why did you do that? Well, don't get lippy with lippy. Do you know how hard it was to find a spaghetti cannon? It's not exactly a household item, Apple. What are you all looking at? Why, why, why would you do this? That's what you asked for. Earthworks. Fireworks. I asked for streamers, a confetti cannon, and fireworks. Let me see that list. Hey, somebody changed this. We're sorry, Apple. At least we still have the countdown clock. Hey, guys, it's nearly time. Ten, nine, eight, seven. What's that noise? I knew we shouldn't have stayed up this late. Where did the clock go? Uh, I don't know. Hey, you think it's been longer than ten seconds? Probably. Well, Happy New Year, I guess. <sighs> Hey, Apple, we're really sorry about your clock. I didn't even realize what was happening. I should be more attentive. You know what? That'll be my New Year's resolution. That and reading an entire book. I'm going to clean out my closet. I'm going to get fit. I might take a nap and figure my resolution out later. Oh, wait. I'm, like, totally going to stop napping. Uh, I feel like I've heard all of this already. Okay, time to clean out my closet. Although I am hungry. Yeah, I could go with sandwich. After lunch, I might go shopping. We've never finished any of our resolutions. You know, we didn't technically see the clock strike 12, so it's not the new year yet. I say we make a pact to finish our resolutions before the clock is found. That may not take long, Cheeky. Mayor Cookie has the best Shopkins on the job. Chicken chip, reporting for, for duty. duty. Ugh, not these two little biscuits again. <laughs> you might have more time than I thought, Cheeky. Come on, Chip. We've got work to do. Shh. Okay. Chapter one. Hey, Cheeky, can you help me train? I'm trying to finish my resolution, Toasty. But I need you to help me finish my resolution. Okay, let's place anything that's old in the to-go pile on my bed. I can't be in here, Olipi. Your bed is, like, really making me want to take a nap. Well, don't fall asleep, because I need you to help me finish my resolution. We, we need your help! Keep up the pace, Toasty, and you'll be fit in no time. You get to read, Susie isn't near a bed, Toasty gets to work out, and my closet gets cleaned. Everybody wins. Did you hear that? It can only mean one thing. A fire! The clock! Oh, yeah. I mean the clock. I guess I can always start my New Year's resolution tomorrow. Uh, okay, I'm up, I'm up. Uh, hi. What are you doing? What are we doing? What are you doing? Well, it's my birthday coming up, so I'm shopping for a new purse. I think it came from this direction. My hand smells like cherry cupcakes. You know, a clock that size would be better suited in a central location. Would you like some help repositioning it? We're hiding it. <laughs> Duh. Oh, from who? My friends. I mean, a group of acquaintances. Acquaintances who couldn't even remember to get me a Christmas gift. 
You better not tell. Act natural. I won't. Because I'm going to give you the chance to make things right. Hey, you, Cupcake! You look guilty of... of... of stopping! Hey! Stop accusing my friends of stealing! Your friends? Of course, Yolanda! Speaking of that, why aren't you wearing the bracelet we got you for Christmas? What do you mean? Lippy, did you put Yolanda's bracelet in her stocking? Uh, sorry. Toasty and I were still braiding it on Christmas morning. It's a friendship bracelet. Oh. <laughs> Merry belated Christmas! We're gonna keep looking for our clock. Let me know if you see anything. Will do. <gasps> Morning, everyone. Ugh, what time is this? <sighs> 7.30. <gasps> Wait a minute! Guys, it's back! What's it counting down to? It's too early for the next New Year's. I'm sorry your New Year's was ruined in the worst way. So instead, let's count down Jessie Cake's birthday. What a great How idea. Cool. Oh, so cool. Cool. This is such a lovely gesture. Oh, wait. There's another card inside. Every birthday party needs a cake and a Kate. Somebody wants you to have a special birthday. Any idea who it is? I have a few ideas. Later. Hello, Shopkins! It is time for our annual chocolate hunt. Cheeky will hide somewhere in the store, and the first Shopkin to find her wins their choice of either the bunny plushie uh -huh. or the new car! <laughs> if we fail to find Cheeky, the prize goes to her. That car is as good as mine. Cheeky, to your mark. Ready? Go, Shopkins! Cookie, aren't you going to hunt for Cheeky? Uh huh. Aren't you going to run? Nuh uh. Okay. Well, good luck! With us working together, we should double the chance of winning. Yep. <laughs> Nothing can escape our gaze! Yeah, mon chéri! I will not let you escape me! Nothing can distract my keen senses of... Sacre bleu! Who is this <laughs> handsome fellow? Oh. <laughs> I've so got this car! But just to be safe, I'll head to my perfect hiding spot! That cheeky! Where could she be? Uh, oh no! <gasps> Sacre bleu! <gasps> Cheeky, are you okay? Yes, just get her off me! She's so heavy! But how? Well, I thought no one would be silly enough to still be at the starting line. Cookie ball! <laughs> I was wrong. You win, Cookie! Pick your prize! Yay! At least maybe I can borrow the car. Check you later. Hello, and welcome to the annual Miss Shopville Beauty Pageant Final. The winner will be presented by our mystery guest. Let's meet the contestants. First up, Strawberry Kiss. This sweet treat miss hails from the fruit aisle and is a favorite for this year's Miss Shopville. Up next is Cookie Cookie. This surprise entry takes the place of spilt milk after a tragic fruit picking accident. Let's wish her a speedy recovery. Now to our first event, the fashion show. Strawberry Kiss is looking fabulously fruity in her large Louis Descon hat. How will Cookie follow this up? What showmanship! This could win her big points. On to the question round. If you had one wish in the world, what would it be? I wish I could meet Katy Berry. She's amazing. Who wouldn't? Now, Kooky, what would you wish for? Peace. World peace. How selfless. And with that, I think we have our winner. The tiara will be presented by last year's Miss Shopville. Cupcake Queen! Congratulations, Kooky, on winning this year's pageant. Oh, peas! <laughs> Thank you, Kooky. Here, you deserve this. Check you later. <laughs> Coochie Coo. Look, she smiled. So cute. It looks like we're running out of baby supplies. 
supplies. Toasty Pop, would you watch Dummy Me while we go get some more? Does toast burn? That means yes. Oh. Okay then, be good, Mimi. Who wants a poopsie change? What? <laughs> The door isn't safe for babies. Ow! Oh no! How in all things toasty did she get up there? Here we go. All safe. You really shouldn't be. Oh no! <laughs> Burnt bagels and muffins. I insist you stop this nonsense. I'm sorry, don't cry! <laughs> wow! I've never seen her laugh so much! You'll have to babysit more often! Um, she... Uh... Was it something I said? Take you later! <laughs> <laughs>